Hello fam, Kimmy Fortune here, and I have a very tiny Timo haul while I get ready for work this morning. Let's get into this Timo haul. And before we do, I'd like to say welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping in. If you're a subscriber, and if you're not, please consider hitting that bell, liking this video, and subscribing to my channel. I'm trying to get my numbers up. So welcome. Okay, let's get into this little Timu haul. This is something <clears throat> that is new to me. And this is Gentle Formula Pets Plus Pet Cleaning Wipes. I picked these up for Baxter's area. Baxter shares my office space um, in my home. And it says, for gentle cleaning your pet's skin from everyday dirt and odor. This is to clean Baxter, not around his area where he lives, but it's actually to clean him off. So I picked that up, $1.25, and it was 160 sheets. We're going to give this a try. Hopefully Baxter won't have any reaction to it. Then for the salon, to clean my pedicure tubs, I bought this Comic Classic Foam Bath Cleaner with bleach. I'll go in early this morning and do that. And I also run bleach through the jets. And I picked up this awesome, LA's Totally Awesome Bleach. Ooh. The top is off. It is lemon scented. I'm going to try this in the salon today. Okay. And for Baxter, I grabbed five training pads. And the reason I have to have these, because Baxter is housebroken. However, he does some crazy stuff when I leave him at home. Um, I don't lock him up. He has the freedom of the house, but I do keep my wardrobe and beauty room door closed because Baxter used to go and lift his leg on the bottom of my day bed. Why? I have no idea. Nowhere else in the house would he do that. So what I had to start doing was closing my beauty room door. Now that my day bed is in the office, sharing space with Baxter and my computer desk and all that, I've noticed I come home and he's lift his leg on my, which I have to wash all the linen, scrub down the mattress. It's irritating and I'm not going to keep going through that. So what I did is I put heavy duty plastic on each end, each post, and tied it where he can't get to the bed underneath. But he, the last time I left him at home, if I'm home, it's not going to happen. He's not going to do it. But if I leave him home, he'll do that. And there's something about that day bed that I have to secure it and protect it from Baxter. So I bought these training pads to put down on the area of the plastic that I have protecting my day bed and on the floor because I do have hardwood floors and I do not want them urine soaked. So I bought these for Baxter to put down when and if I ever leave him at home. But I rarely leave Baxter at home, so I think that's my punishment for leaving him at home. Then, you guys, I picked up another cutesy poopsie pump for my... Um, I guess whatever fluids I'm going to use, most likely for my, um, my, um, cellular water. Yeah, most likely for that. And I bought a couple, but I really love the one from Dollar Tree. So I just grabbed another one of these pumps to put on my vanity. Also... B Pure has a, a lotion that I want to give a try. This one by B Pure, let me get these glasses on, y'all. 
I'm tying my hair down because I'm trying to do a updo ponytail. It's um collagen. And it's B3 and E revitalizing body lotion. Provides moisture that helps the skin appear firmer and hydrated. And it's by B Pure. Oh, you guys, and it it's mm, it smells pretty good. So we're gonna give this a try by B Pure. I grabbed that, and then they had two others, but I grabbed this one. Hyaluronic acid. You know, that's a firming aid for us um, ladies of a particular age. And this one has B3 and vitamin E, and it's also a hydrating body lotion. But it's hyaluronic acid. Let me smell this one. Yeah, they do have nice light scents to them. So I'm going to hang on to those. You know, I might even add them to the basket that I'm planning to build for um, my sister's house. Mm -hmm. Then to go in the car, and it's a warning, do not flush. It's Global Beauty Care, fresh and fruity. Coconut sugar with lactic acid, moisturizing cleaning wipes with vitamin A, C, and E. Smooth and refined texture. And this one is supposed to smell like coconut. So I'm going to put these in, one of these in the car. Then, because um, Twisted Gypsy picked this up, Next Generation Sweet Pineapple and Honeydew Melon, Hemp Seed Oil, Body Lotion. Helps moisturize and smooth dry skin. Ooh, that smells good, y'all. So they also had the coconut oil, but I wanted to try this one. And then they do have a body wash as well, but I've seen her haul a body wash. Um, I couldn't find it there, so I grabbed this. And I'm going to give this a try, and it's by Next Generation. Now, you know this hemp seed oil lotions are quite expensive. They really are. Okay, then I also grabbed from the beauty department another white and Brie, Brie Marie, she was hauling these from the Dollar Tree. Global Beauty Care, fresh and fruity. This is watermelon. Hyaluronic acid, hydrating cleansing wipes with vitamin A, C, and E, smooth and refined texture. And this is watermelon scented. Now, um, Global Beauty Care has a line of watermelon scented products. They have a facial wash, they have um, a mask, they have a complete line. But I want to try these and carry these in the car. One for the car and one for the truck. Then because I'm headed to Florida this summer, I grabbed this. Makeup brush holders to travel with. It should be able to fit right down into one of my beauty bags that I picked up. Let me see here if I can grab one of my beauty bags out here. I got them took down in here so good. Oop. I don't want my hair stuff falling out. Where the beauty bag? Well, I don't think it's going to fit in the wake up and make up one because it looks like it's, it's bigger than the pouch itself. Uh, let me see if it's going to fit. No, it's not going to fit in the wake up and make up beauty bag. But it does look like it will fit in the the essentials bag. Yeah, it looks like it'll fit right on in here. And Timu has a few carrier makeup carrier bags. 
Yeah, this fits right in here. Look at here. Mm-hmm. This looks like it's gonna be the one that goes with me. It fits right in to protect my makeup brushes and to protect my other makeup from what's on the brushes because I probably most likely won't clean my brushes until I get home from my trip. But those, that's going with me. And I also saw Brie Marie haul this, and it is by Sassy and Chic, a powder puff with a case. And I grabbed it in pink. It came in other colors. So um, this is good for travel too, because the ones that I have at home gets a little dirty after a while after the makeup application and it could get on other stuff so this is going to go in that essentials bag as well yeah fits nicely in there look at that fits nicely in there. then i bought for the trip a first aid kit 21 count 21 count. Isn't this cute? Oh, it's by Karis. First aid kit and it has 10, 10 bandages, 8 fabric, oh, 10 fabric bandages at a particular size, 8 fabrics of a particular size, 2 wound dressings, and one paper tape roll. All in this cute little case. Look at that. This is adorable. This was the only one that I saw in the store. Oh, look at that. And the bandages are decorative. Look at that. This is cute. This is going to fit right in either my essentials bag. Yeah, fits right in there. Look. Boom. Or it'll go somewhere in my um, carry-on. But that seems like that completes what I grabbed today. A few little essentials for the home and for um, the body hydration. So thank you for watching this short little Dollar Tree haul. And I'm going to get ready for work. Have a wonderful, blessed, prosperous day. And Kimmy, I'll see you later. Kimmy's out. Bye, y'all. So now I'm going to complete my get ready with me. I am getting ready for work this morning. And my highlighter that I'm using, my foundation that I use is Fit Me. That's my foundation color and it's color 330. My concealer that I'm using is by RK from the Beauty Supply Store HD Concealer. how that wears. Once I apply my concealer, make sure I'm not going to crease. Then I usually do my eyebrows, but you know, my eyebrows are tatted on. So I just add a little bit to my eyebrows just to finish them off. But what I'm going to do to shape my eyebrows a little bit. Just trim them out just a little bit. Just 
little bit of highlighter under there and I'll spread that down. I take a little bit of dark brown pencil that I got from Timo and I fill in spots because once I got my uh, brows tattooed years ago, um, I don't grow a lot of hair there anymore. So to me, I get a, a real shiny look about them. And that's something I don't care for. So it's like it's kind of patchy. And after the first tatted situation, I would not be tatting them again. That hurt. I'm not doing it anymore. From here on, I'll use what I have as a guide to fill in. And like I said before, the shape of how they do tattoo, I mean, how they do eyebrows now, have changed from when I got mine tatted. And I probably can get them touched up, but mm -mm. like I said, hurt, hurt, hurt. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Hurt, 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 hurt. And that is all I'm doing for the eyebrow, for the brow. Get the shape that I want with a little touch up because, like I said, they're there permanently, but some areas need to be redone and I'm not the best at it but I give it my best okay mm, that's what I do for the brows I'm not gonna do any shadow today. Just my lashes. Ooh, I think I got a little bit of highlighter on it. Just the lashes. And I'm going to do my favorite eyeliner pencil. I forget what they call this, but it's rich and deep and I love how it goes on because it's rich and deep and I like my eyes to be dark. But when I'm not wearing shadows, I don't I don't go all out on the liner. Because when I'm not wearing shadow, the lashes are the star of the show. And that is that. Now, let's do the cheeks. The cheeks that I'm going to be wearing today is from Dollar Tree. And it's starry. Let me put on glasses, y'all. Starry, precious mineral, lightweight blush. Natural glow, smooth finish. From Dollar Tree. It's very pigmented. I only need a little bit. Okay, get his glasses off just a little. Look at that. 
Okay. Mm, my nose tickles. Just a little bit of color. Okay. Once I get the cheeks on, my next step is the highlighter. I'm still using this highlighter that broke on me. I want to use it to the very end, to the last drop. It's just crushed and it's gone. But I only use a little bit of highlighter, so. And I highlight my cheekbones. When I first wore this highlighter, I overdid it. Tip of the nose. When I first did it, oh my God. My granddaughter said, Grandma, you got a little bit too much highlighter on. But that's what I do for the highlight and the blush. So those are my, oh my nose, it's Look at that hair. Now, m the majority of my makeup is from Dollar Tree, y'all. LA Colors Pressed Powder is what I blend. Together to, for a more natural look. to soften my blush. Then, from the beauty supply store, NK, NK Makeup Perfection Finish from the beauty supply store. And this is my finishing powder for under my eyes. Okay. There. Then, the last thing that I need to do, I'm gonna do my forehead after I take this um, head wrap off to tie my hair down is moisturize my lips. Because you know all about Kimmy's lips. Dry, dry, dry. Years of wearing masks in the OR. Just completely dries them out. So now they're just dry. I just don't know why. And I love lipsticks. And I guess outline the lips with a uh, beauty supply store, Nika, it might be NK, and coffee, is this some coffee? Let me see, what color is this? Cocoa, in Cocoa. That's just one of my liners. I saw that um, Timu has a set for very inexpensive liners, lip liners with a multiple, just an array of colors. Um, you might get 10 or 12 lip pencils. 
from red. This, okay, this from red to burgundy in the, um, the pistol. This is Ruby Kisses Butter Bomb Gloss. And it's just a hint of color. It smells good. Mm. Feels good. But before I put that on, I use by NK. And it is a lip moisturizing. It's a lipstick, but it's clear. And it's just absolutely moisture. It is hydro. Lip Treatment with Vitamin E by NK. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So I apply that on first. And I think that finishes off my face for today. Just a light face. And I'm going to finish it off with a finishing spray to protect my skin, I use a uh, hyaluronic acid um, facial moisturizer and I blend it with my Maybelline makeup as a foundation, but I use my foundation. I always add moisture to it. Then I use, to finish it off, it's prideful. Set. No, let me get my glasses. Y'all know. Set it and forget it. All day setting mist. And it's prideful. Erase hate. Paint love with prideful. I have a few prideful products. I'm going to get a really good that's what I got my little fan for I gotta put some batteries in it after I miss I'm going to Use my fan to help it set. I fan until I, my face doesn't feel cool or damp anymore. But this gives a beautiful glow to your skin. And I got this from the Dollar Tree, y'all. They have a line called Prideful. If you can find it, I haven't seen it since I grabbed it. Hopefully, I'll run across it again. But that completes my face for today. And Kimmy has to get ready for work. So, Kimmy, you guys, I'm out. Thanks for watching this video. Just get ready with me. And I'll see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe. Bye, y'all.